Hey, how's it going? You're watching I'm World Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi sport, and endurance events and training. Today, I went and picked up my race bib, so my race number for the Black Moors Marathon, which is tomorrow. Now, I'm just going to go pick up my bib at the race expo. Hey, guy. Sorry. Uh, so, $22.99. Go, choo -choo, nine, nine. Yep, and while I was there, since it was the expo and I was selling things, I got myself some gels. Uh, I miscounted though, I only got eight gels. I actually need uh, three per hour, so every 20 minutes there are about 11 gels. But I only got eight. I don't know why. So, I'm gonna have to pick up some more later on. I actually just had a thought. They do give out uh, gels on the run, so I might be alright just carrying eight and picking up another three as I go. And I'm in a bit of a rush today because I've got Star Wars The Force Awakens at the Sydney Opera House where I'm a costumer this time. So a bit of an explanation about the Star Wars thing. I'm a massive nerd, so, and I love Star Wars, so I'm a part of the 501st Legion and, or 501st Southern Cross Garrison uh, in Sydney, Australia, and the Rebel Legion. And I have a Director Krennic costume and also a Han Solo costume. So I get to go to events, uh, and I've got a sort of approved, screen accurate, somewhat costume. And so in this case, I get to promote The Force Awakens at the Sydney Opera House, which is pretty awesome. And it's an event that doesn't require much for me to do. I just kind of stand around and get photos with people. So the day before the marathon, it's a nice relaxing thing to do. So this week being the take a week for the week before the marathon, I haven't done much running. Last weekend I did 14 kilometer, so that's my long run. And then throughout the week, I've just done a couple of shorter runs. So am I nervous about tomorrow? Absolutely. I haven't done enough training. Like, I should have done a lot more. So I'm not making it easy for myself, but I still think I can definitely do it. And this is one of the streets I'll be running up tomorrow. Going all the way down there and down here. And even though I haven't really done enough training, que sera, Whatever will be, will be. So, it doesn't matter so much, like I have done a lot in trying to help promote the charity. Uh, so I got the Run Beyond Project listed as an official charity partner for the event, which is great. I've raised now $200 or $300 for the charity, so that's awesome. And if you have any spare change, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could also donate to my charity, which is the Run Beyond Project, who helps students in need learn valuable life skills through the medium of running. Now going through the rocks, this is also a major part of the marathon. So we run along this road, I think, and then back later on. Sorry, Sydney is being really loud today. They're doing a lot of construction. There's heavy vehicles everywhere. Now we're coming up to probably my favorite part of the marathon, which is the finishing straight, where you go from Circular Quay down to the Sydney Opera House. One thing that's amazing about it is just the amount of people on the side of the path, cheering you on, encouraging you to finish nice and strong. And the surface of this finished section really does not make it easy with Kung Fu slippers. It's all kind of rocky, really rough. So that's gonna be tough like it was two years ago, but I'll push through. And that's the finish of the run. At this point, hopefully I'll be feeling good and I'll have achieved another Guinness World Record title. Got it back. Yeah. Alright, he found a quiet spot where we can talk. It's in the Sydney Opera House green room. A pretty nice view. So as I mentioned before, I am running on behalf of a charity. So I got the gold charity bib. I'm number 2299. I thought I was gonna get personalized with my name on it. That didn't happen. Oh well, that's fine. So to donate to my charity, go to www.donate2will.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And it's meant to be a pretty warm one tomorrow. So it's gonna to be tops of around 26, maybe even a little higher, which is warmer than they were expecting. So it's not the best for what I'm wearing for the race, but they're gonna have an extra stop uh, just over there actually at the International Passenger Terminal with the uh, whatever that cruise line ship is, cruise ships. Uh, so that'll have extra water, electrolytes, hopefully GU gels, that sort of thing. 
so you can hydrate before the final sort of sprint to the finish. And I've just got to make sure that throughout the day I keep myself very well hydrated. Um, every drink station I'll be going through and trying to grab electrolytes if possible. And so this evening, after I've done this Star Wars thing, uh, which I think finishes around 8 o'clock, I'll then head home and get myself an early night. Uh, take some magnesium, things like that to help me relax. Um, I'm going to have a dinner here now, something with a bit of carbohydrates, a bit of uh, fibres, that sort of stuff to help me go in the morning. Um, and help me go in the morning. So that about wraps it up. If you want to watch my video where I talk about the Blackmoors Sydney Running Festival, I will leave a link up here. If you want more swim, bike, run and exercise content every week, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.